Hey, this is Carol at Rowan Wood Art, and I love working with our plaster paint products. And we're developing a new product here using, of course, our plaster paint products, and I'd like to show it to you. It's a wax stain, or stain wax if you prefer. And I just want to show you how simple this would be. I'm using a color that I've been working with that I like because it's kind of a patina, like a like you'd get on an old copper. And you see it a lot in the vintage um, furniture. It just seemed like a good color for us to start with here. But I want to show you how easy this product is to use. You get some on your brush, just, just like paint. This is a wax product, but we're going to apply it with a brush. And this is on raw wood. And we're just going to paint that on there. And you know, I don't have any particular project in mind for this piece of wood. I'm just wanting to demonstrate how this product is going to work. So pardon me if I'm not real precise with my painting here. But I get that on nice and smooth. I'm going to let it sit for just a minute. And this is on unfinished pine. Now, this board I have laying next to it here is the unfinished pine and I've painted one coat of plaster paints ivory lace on that and I just wanted to show you as an example of how this would work over something that you're painting one of your paint projects over furniture or cabinets or you know anything else you can think of so I'm only going to do half of this one so you can see a difference in that over just the white paint. Okay, now that's been on there for, what, 30 seconds or so. I'm going to give it just a little while. And again, I said this is a wax. It's at about room temperature, not, not particularly warm. It stays loose like this. If it wasn't coming off on your brush real well, you might want to warm it up just a little bit, but you don't want it melted. And you just get it on your brush and paint it on. Okay, we're going to set that aside. And this is to act as a stain. So, as you generally do when you're staining a piece of wood, we've applied it, gave it a minute to kind of soak in, and now I'm going to wipe it off. Trying to go with the grain to get it worked in. Also, it doesn't hurt to like little circles, so you make sure you get in the nooks and crannies there. And it will stick better in some places than others, and that is what is going to allow the wood grain to show through. But there's one more step of this, and it's it's going to be pretty neat. Okay, and now the same with this. I'm going to take this one that I've done on the painted piece and just wipe over that and remove the excess. And I had just painted this board about 20 minutes ago, so that paint is pretty fresh, but plaster paint products are wonderful in how fast they dry so you can move on with your project. So, now I chose the ivory lace. Maybe I should have gone with a darker color, more of a contrast to the actual pine. But I was thinking colors that people tend to like to use on kitchen cabinets and the like. And see how that just wipes off. Okay, so I took a little break to let this dry a little bit, and now we should be able to buff this out. And what's neat about using the stain wax rather than just using regular stain is normally you have to stain, and then you come back and put a sealant over it. With the stain wax, it's a one product, one step. So we've painted it on, we wiped off the excess, and now I'm going to use this nail brush to buff it out. We have buffer brushes, we have rimple cloth, we have many ways you can buff it out. This is a small piece and the nail brush works fine for me. But I'm just going to rub over this and you can, you can get pretty aggressive with it. Once it's dry, you can 
you can really go at it. And we're just gonna buff across that on the edges a little bit. And I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but you start to get a bit of a shine from that. And that is because your piece is stained and sealed. I have a couple I did last night. I did this block of wood in a brown, and can you see the sheen on that? I let the stain soak in, wiped it off, and I let this sit for quite a while. Came back later, buffed it for 30 seconds, and I've got that shine. It's sealed. It's done. The same with the red. You've got that lovely, lovely shine on it. Now let's see how it works on our painted piece. This was painted, and I went over it with the stain wax, and I'm just trying to get any dust and anything off of it. And now I'm going to hit it with the brush to buff it. Honestly, it's only been about maybe 10 minutes. It probably do a little better if it had maybe 20 minutes, but I always rush everything. Oh yeah, I'm getting that shine there now. You can really see. I'm trying not to get over in the paint because it will just take the paint off because I don't have the sealant over it. But, now look how lovely that is. So even over your painted products, you want to add a little color. Can you see that shine? That is, that's ter just terrific. Even over, if you're doing painted cabinet doors or whatever, and you wanted to just show a little bit of color in the edges or over the whole piece like I did here, and then that is your sealant as well. This doesn't, this is still needing to be sealed, but this where I put the stained wax over it, it's sealed. One more thing we might do, just to show you can. If you wanted to do a more distressed piece, it's not too late. We've got, I'm just going to try to get a little more shine there in the middle. What happens as you, after you've let this dry and you breath, buff it, what it is is the friction that warms that wax and seals it. And my goodness, look at the shine now. That's terrific. But not too late to do some distressing if you wanted to. You can take that wax off right down to the paint. Or, if we wanted to get in there and go all the way to the wood, we can. So it's not too late to get that distressed look if you decided that you want to go that way. And a lot of times with a piece, an older piece, you want to give it that, that look. Over and shine, shine, shine. I'm going to do a little more on this. Give it that friction to really get it going. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done.